Hi, it's Lisa. It is Wealth Building Wednesday. And today I want to talk to you about managing competing priorities. Oh my goodness. You know, I say this all the time, so this should not be new to you. There will always be more to do with your money than you have money to do. And unless you're Warren Buffett, and I'm just going to say Warren Buffett lives on a budget, um, <laughs> unless you're Warren Buffett or one of the top, 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 top wealthiest people in the world, you will have a finite amount of cash. You know, um, there's this mindset that if you're commission only, you can just go make more. And that is a true statement. I've been commission only and you can just go make more. But you still have to have a plan for how you spend the more that you just made. So from that scenario, you're just like everybody else needing a plan around your money. So now that we got that out of the way, what do you do when you have competing priorities? Well, first of all, what might be competing priorities? Well, saving for a vacation while you're trying to get out of debt, while you're trying to buy gifts for people, while you are trying to save for down payment for a house, or medical expenses that just popped up that put a wrench in any of the above that I just mentioned. All of those are competing priorities. So how do you do that? Here's the word again, guys. Budget. You budget. It doesn't mean that you can't do the fun stuff just because the adulting 101 stuff shows up, okay? It doesn't mean that you can't do that. But you do have to sit down and figure out how much is going to go where, okay? Sinking funds are a huge benefit here. Um, Keith and I use sinking funds all day, every day. We have some that are in our checking account. We have others that are in our money market account. So when you are looking at sinking funds, very rarely do you put the money for sinking funds in an investment account, okay? Because you never want to need to access that money and risk that the market is down. So we keep our sinking funds either in our checking account or in our money market account. That's number one, okay? Number two, use percentages. This is another example. We had a friend from church uh, who just got a nice lump sum of money. And that was the very first thing that I said was, Keith was like, what are you going to do with it? And uh, it was like, uh, 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 get some percentages. You get to decide which percentages you use. The key is to use percentages. 50% goes to this. For us, 10% goes to the tithe. Um, and then we will break down the rest of it based on whatever needs are current at the moment. Okay. Three, don't use credit cards. Do not create debt because you have a need for cash. You can use your emergency fund if you need to, but I've said it before, I'll say it again. Most things aren't emergent. They just are poorly planned, okay? A little long today. I hope you found that helpful. Three things, three reasons why, three opportunities uh, that you can have to manage competing priorities. Okay, bye.